Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. This is Champion 2D Rob and I'm back again with another pickups video. This time it's basically going to be all the import games that I've picked up in the last... I'm going to be honest, I actually picked most of these up pretty much this month. Um, ever since I picked up a multi-region PlayStation 2, I basically went to town. Uh, it was it was just such an amazing thing to basically have a whole new library of titles just open up for me. So it's been fantastic. Um, I've always more or less known uh, what games I've I wanted, and of course, as I've been exploring the the sort of Japanese market as well as the American market. Uh, some other titles that weren't initially at the forefront of my mind have basically come into play as well. So there are actually going to be, while most of these games do fall under one genre mostly, there are a few other titles that are of different genres as well. So I think we're going to start with PlayStation 1. Uh, pretty much all Japanese uh, titles and uh, this was more of a, a side collection. I, I don't actually plan on picking up a, a, a large amount of titles. In fact, this might pretty much be it. I mean, there might there might be one or two other titles I might want to get in the future, but ultimately, uh, PS One was not really what I wanted to uh, jump into. It's mostly for PlayStation Two imports, but I did pick up a few uh, PS One titles. And unfortunately, it's been of a bit of a rocky ride for me in terms of picking up. I will go into detail as, as we go into each game. But the first game I want to talk about is actually a title that is not actually a game that I picked up uh, recently. I, I've actually had this game in my possession for about four years. And I've never shown it in any videos um, because I never really considered it part of my collection. I bought this game for a purpose and that purpose was at the time I was considering uh, jumping into getting an import system so I, so I said to myself well I want to pick up a game that I will use to test that system so I just basically stumbled across this title uh, the game did appeal to me of course but I bought it because it was cheap mostly but it had to be of course it had to be a title that I, I knew I would play um, but, it, but it was Bought for the purpose of being simply a test game uh, that I would use if I bought a, a Japanese PlayStation 1 or Japanese PlayStation 2. So now that I've actually had the chance to play it finally, it's actually a pretty decent game and I do enjoy it. And the game I'm talking about is um, uh, Samurai Deeper Kuyo. And what this game is, it's a 2D fighter. Uh, apparently it's based on an anime. I'm, I'm not familiar with the anime myself. But it is based on an anime. But for me, it's just a, a, a decent one-on-one uh, -on -one 2D fighter. Very similar to games like uh, Last Blade or Samurai Showdown series. The only difference is um, this title is a lot more, how shall I say, casual friendly. It's very easy to get into. In fact, the special moves in this game are more or less one-button presses. It's very basic. I wouldn't really recommend this game for uh, seasoned players uh, if you are if you consider yourself a bit of an expert in 2d fighters you probably won't get much for this game but for more casual fans of the genre this is definitely one game to take a look at and it's not expensive um, of course you know I bought this years ago so at the time I paid I think it was definitely less than 10 pounds I think I paid about eight pounds for this game but I, I've looked it up on eBay now, and it sort of hovers around the £20 mark. So it's not too bad. It's not, it's not that much expensive. Uh, but it is complete. And it does come with the... Uh, I'll just show you. It does come with the spine card as well. Not that I really care about spine cards, but uh, of course, if I, if I do see them, I will try and pick them up complete with the spine card but it's a really cool game so it's definitely one to check out that's uh, Samurai Deeper Kuyo okay so next game here and uh, this is one that I've actually wanted to pick up um, I actually wasn't aware of this game I sort, I sort of stumbled on it as I was sort of looking into the library and it, it was just definitely one that really appealed to me I'm a fan of the genre and I'm also a fan of this particular license as well and the game I'm talking about is uh, Fist of the North Star. 
Now, this game is a 3D side-scrolling beat-em-ups, well, side-scrolling, 3D beat-em-up. Uh, think of games like Fighting Force, that sort of title. Um, unfortunately, I've not been able to play it. Um, I, uh, I've loaded it into my machine. Uh, it does load. It goes into the intro. It plays fine. It goes into the menu screen. I can select the game to start. And the minute it goes into the first cutscene, it sort of starts up. And then about a little bit into the cutscene, it just freezes on me. And, um, and that was basically it. So I've not been able to play this game. Now, I did contact the seller. And... Uh, like I, I told him what happened he basically said he would send me a replacement disc which he did and uh, yeah so basically I turned it on tried it up started it up and it froze at the exact same point so it's definitely nothing to do with the game uh, it's just basically a compatibility issue I guess uh, whether it's just my system or, or if this title just falls onto, under one of those titles that's just not not backwards compatible with PlayStation 2. I guess it might be that. So uh, I've basically been left with two discs. Both seem to be working fine. And it's a shame because this is also um, complete with spine card. It is an otherwise lovely condition. But I'm not able to play it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this game. Um... I will probably hold on to it. Um, I'll probably get hold of another multi-region system. I might get a multi-region PlayStation 1. That's a possibility. Uh, just to test it out again. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's such a shame because I am a fan of uh, Fist of North Star. It's definitely uh, one of my favourite licenses. So, and I've actually heard a lot of good things about this game. So uh, I'm a little bit guided by it, but... That's the way it is, but I have, I am, ch I'm choosing to keep these games. I'm not going to send them back. The seller himself was actually very, very helpful, very nice guy, more than happy to help. So, you know, it is what it is. I guess it's, it's, it's just more my fault. But, you know, what can I do? It's a shame. But we do have a bright side here. Now, this is a game I'm really chuffed to get. Uh, this is the last PlayStation One game. I'm really, really happy to get it. After what happened with Fist of the North Star, I was actually quite cautious about whether to get any more PlayStation 1 games as I didn't want to run into any compatibility issues or anything like that. Um, so I, I decided to take a chance anyway with this game because it was a game that I've heard nothing but good things about and I really want to play it because again it falls into a genre that I love and that is the beat-em-up. And the game I'm talking about is Panzer Bandit. And I'm really, really chuffed to get this because it's it's in fantastic condition. It is mint. Uh, I don't remember if it comes with a spine card though. I can't remember if it did. No, it doesn't come with a spine card, but the manual's there, and it's in lovely, um, lovely, lovely condition. It is it is mint, and uh, I'm happy to report it does play fine. So it is a great game actually. It's so much fun. It's a 2D game. Uh, it's very similar to uh, Guardian Heroes in the sense of where you basically fight on one plane but you have the ability to jump into another plane so you can sort of jump uh, sort of to and fro into the, into the background and then the foreground. It's a really fun game, very colourful, you can choose multiple characters. It's such a good game. If you, if you have the chance to play this game, definitely check it out. It is an expensive game though. So um, probably worth checking out on emulation uh, if you want to sort of give it a try. It's, it's brilliant. I highly recommend this game. And I'm very, very happy to have this one in my collection because it's definitely the sort of game that I would have jumped into had it come out over here. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant game. That's uh, Panzer Bandits. Oh, and actually I forgot to mention as well, not only did I get the game itself, but I also got the... Uh, um, strategy guide this actually came with the game and it is in fantastic condition there is there is a slight little nick here at the top but ultimately it's a very very colorful um if i can show you lovely artwork here great colorful artwork if i can pan out beautiful beautiful stuff um really chuffed to get this uh, let's see. 
so I can get to look at. Yeah, it's got really, really good artwork here. So I was really chuffed to get this as well. So this was actually a, a really nice bonus. I, I didn't buy this separately. This actually came. Uh, the seller was selling it with the game, so it's a lovely condition. And it's a very nice uh, collector's piece to have as well. Right, so moving on now, we're going to move straight into PlayStation 2 titles here, and I'm very excited. I've got some great games here. Um, definitely a lot of titles that I've been trying to, I've been feeling to play for many, many years. Now I finally got the opportunity to do so, so I'm really excited. The first game I want to show you guys is actually a couple of games, but they come together in a double pack. And what I picked up was uh, Sega Rally uh, 2006. Now, I'm, I'm really chuffed to get this, and the reason why is because it also comes with a port of the arcade game from 1995. And this is so much fun because I used to love playing this game back in the day. It's always been a game I wanted to check out. Um, even seeing the Saturn ports, but this is actually arcade perfect, it's fantastic. So I'm really, really happy that it comes with a port of the original arcade game. But of course as well, it does come with the uh, 2006 modern version. And I have to say, uh, it's a fun game, but it's not as good as the original arcade game. This one, the physics of the game itself are definitely a lot different compared to the original this the cars here feel a lot more weighty uh, a bit more simulation it actually plays a bit more like like your your sort of more modern um, rally games like Colin McRae V rally that kind of thing it definitely doesn't really have the full-on arcade feel of the original arcade game but it's definitely nice to have uh, in this double pack so I was really quite chuffed to get this and luckily I didn't have to import this, this was actually bought from a seller in the UK so I was really, really chuffed to get it because it's in fantastic condition as well. So yeah, really chuffed to get this one. And the next game I have here, and again this is another arcade port from Sega, it's a title that not a lot of people talk about but I remember playing this game in the arcade and I had so much fun with it. No one ever talks about this game and I remember playing this game back in the day um, it was a very unusual game. It's, it's, it's a fighting game and it was, it was an arena based fighting title in the arcades from Sega but it used twin sticks and it had a very um, unusual mechanic of playing but for whatever reason it just really clicked with me in the arcades and I used to play it every time I used to see the arcade machine. And the game I'm talking about is um, uh, Cyber Troopers Virtual On. And uh, yeah, this is basically a port of the arcade game. And I always felt that it was so well suited for the PlayStation simply because of the way the pad is laid out. The way that the, the, the twin sticks are, are set on the pad, it works so well with this game. If you're familiar with the arcade machine, then you'll know what I'm talking about because essentially you use the twin sticks to maneuver. So essentially what you do is you... you for example, you would pull both sticks up for the for the for the robot to essentially uh, power forward, and if you pull the sticks away from each other, your your robot would rise into the air. So it basically uses the sticks and of course the buttons in a very unique way. But it's not easy to get into, and I and going back to it now, I'm I'm a little bit out of practice, so I will I will need some time to sort of get used to the game, but. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun. It's basically a one-on-one -on -one arena based fighter, but I, I do believe you can have two player co-op as well. So it goes into like a split screen mode. So you and a friend can take on a rival. So it's a lot of fun to play. And uh, yeah, it's a, a great title to own. So I was really chuffed that they actually poured it over to the PlayStation. And I remember, I remember finding out about this game uh, years ago and just being so gutted that it wasn't released uh, over here in Europe. Um, but yeah. Great title to, to finally get and uh, again I was very lucky I did not have to import this I actually bought it from a seller in the UK and he actually sold it for me while while still relatively expensive it was a lot cheaper than what was being sold for in Japan uh, and the reason why the, the, the seller uh, was selling it at a low, at a low starting point was because uh, he said that the case um, uh, doesn't close properly which it doesn't really, and the um, 
and the uh, the uh, the mechanism that clips the disc doesn't really hold the disc in place but there's no actual damage to the disc and the case is otherwise mint and uh, I was pleasantly surprised when it arrived because it was actually in really nice condition aside from that I mean the case does close to a, close to a degree but it's mostly the, the disc that doesn't hold but I think all I need to do is just try and pull out the uh, the lock mechanism a, a, a little bit more so that the 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 disc will, will stick in the system but otherwise it's pretty much in fantastic condition so I was really really chuffed to get it and it de I definitely saved probably about uh, uh, 50 40 40 or 50 pounds by buying it because of this so-called uh, condition so really really chuffed to get this game and following that up I also picked up virtual on Mars which is the sequel and I actually picked this up brand new and sealed but I actually imported it from the US even though it's a Japanese title and this is actually a very recent addition so I've not really had a chance to uh, put some time into it yet but it's basically more of what I just described to you although they have changed that changed the uh, the controls now it uses the buttons more as opposed to the, the thumbsticks so it doesn't really have the same manner of play but otherwise it's a very nice title it's, it's definitely got improved graphics and I believe it has a story mode as well but I haven't been able to check any of that out yet but I was really chuffed to get both the virtual on titles because like I say I was a huge fan of the original arcade game so I'm really really happy to, to get this in the collection okay moving on I'm gonna jump straight into some US exclusives well, US versions imports games that were never released here in the UK obviously and the first one I had to get definitely was uh, uh, Mega Man Anniversary and the reason why I got this was mainly because it has the the 2D fighting Mega Man title which was an arcade game and uh, I know it, it was released individually in Japan but uh, I thought this makes much more sense because I, I at least have uh, all the other Mega Man titles so you've got 10 Mega Man games here um, so it's basically got all the original Mega Man games I believe it has uh, Mega Man 7 and 8 as well I believe uh, but yeah great value for money again I did not have to import this I bought this as you can see it's sealed I bought this from a UK seller uh, very very chuffed to add this in the collection and the next one I bought of course had to be the Mega Man X collection again I bought it from the same seller it was brand new and sealed bought within the UK so did not have to import it and uh, yeah this is great this has basically got seven games in one and uh, the game that I that was worth getting this for aside from the X games it also comes with the uh, Mega Man uh, kart racing game Battle and Chase although I've not heard many good things about that game but uh, it's definitely nice to have in this collection as well uh, next a game I picked up here and this is one that I was so gutted because we never got this game in the UK We got the first one, but we never got the sequel So I was really annoyed by that fact So I was happy when I finally got my system and I was able to buy this again I did not have to import this again. It was bought from a UK seller and that game is uh, Fatal Fury Battle Archives 2 and essentially this has got the three remaining uh, Fatal Fury games that were not in uh, Battle Archives 1. So you've got uh, Real Bout Fatal Fury, you've got Real Bout Fatal Fury Special, and uh, Real, Real, Bout, Real Bout 2, The Newcomers. And these are fantastic games. Uh, yeah, I love these games. I, I've, been, I've been playing this one a lot. Uh, mostly been playing uh, Real Bout Fatal Fury and Real Bout 2. Uh, I've not tried special yet, but those two games are fantastic. I've had so much fun with them. I'm such a fan of Fatal Fury because I grew up playing Fatal Fury. Um, I played the Mega Drive game back in the day when I was a kid. That was my introduction to Fatal Fury. But I also played it in the arcades as well. I was very big into the SNK fires back in the day. So I was really chuffed to be able to have these games, to own these games in, in, in a manner that's more affordable. Um, because yeah, trying to own these games individually on the Neo Geo is is it's it's just not feasible for me. But yeah, really, really happy to finally have Battle Archives 2. Such a tragic crime that in Europe we never got this sequel. I don't know why we got the first one, but we didn't get this one. So 
had to hack to rectify that. And lastly, for the uh, for the US games, I picked up the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. Now, here in the UK, we did actually get the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, but for whatever reason, they did not include Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, which was on this collection, and that's what I bought it for. I bought it for Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Uh, again, I am aware that it is available individually in Japan, but this made a lot more sense because the Japanese version was far more expensive and it's only the one title, whereas here at least I get also the uh, Hyper Street Fighter 2 as a bonus as well. So you get two games in one, and playing Street Fighter 3, this is actually the, the first time I've ever owned Street Fighter 3. It's not a game I've ever spent any real time with, and I have to say, playing it, um, it's fantastic. I mean, I, I have played the arcade version, but I've never really been able to sit down and have it, uh, give it a, a real playthrough compared to other Street Fighter titles. It's the one I'm the, I'm the least familiar with. And I have to say, it's fantastic. I I can definitely see the appeal of, of Street Fighter 3. And it's definitely probably one of the best games I've ever, I've ever played in terms of fighting games. It's so fantastic. So I'm really chuffed to finally get uh, this anniversary collection with Street Fighter 3. Street Fighter 3, I don't know why, it's eluded us here in Europe. They just don't really want to release it, uh, aside from the Dreamcast release. They, every time there's an opportunity for, for, for other formats to get it, it's never released in Europe, which has been really frustrating for myself, but really happy to finally get it now. Okay, on to the last batch of games now, and these, again, these are all uh, Japanese titles, and I'm really chuffed to own all these games. Uh, very much uh, must-haves for me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy man. I'm a happy man. I've been doing a lot of gaming lately. I've been enjoying all these titles. I've been enjoying a lot of the fighters as well. But before we jump into fighters, there is one title here. It's a little bit different. And what I picked up was the Gunstar Heroes Treasure Box. And essentially, this is a compilation. And uh, as you can tell, it has Gunstar Heroes, but it also has a Dynamite Heady and Alien Soldier. Three excellent uh, Mega Drive titles uh, all in one collection and uh, I bought this from a seller in the UK as well um, it wasn't actually on my radar but I saw it available it was the only one available in in, in really nice condition uh, and I, as I say that I actually notice the case is a little bit bit peeled but anyway but it is otherwise it is in really nice condition and uh, I didn't see it much on the Japanese from much from Japanese sellers so I'm really chuffed to get this um, wasn't really one I was trying to get initially but I'm happy to get it even though I do own all three of these games individually on the Mega Drive it's just nice to have them in a compilation uh, on the PlayStation 2 and I am a bit of a treasure fanboy so it's just nice to have as well because like I say they're three fantastic games whether you own them in this collection or you own them individually uh, they're definitely worth playing for sure Next game I've got here, and this is one title that was definitely high on my list. The moment I got my multi-region uh, PS2, I wanted this game because it's one of my favourite fighting game series. And that is the Last Blade collection. So essentially this has Last Blade 1 and 2. I love the Last Blade series. I used to play it back in the day in the arcades. It was fantastic. Uh, essentially, it's a it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter, 2D fighter. Uh, like I say, similar to uh, Samurai Showdown, uh, set like in the feudal Japan era. It's got these awesome samurai characters, and uh, it also has a, a great character who resembles um, Jet Li from the Once Upon a Time in China films, uh, Wang Fei Hun, sort of looking character. And he was my favorite character back in the day. I, I forgot his name. I think his name's Li or Wei. I can't remember his name, but. Uh, it's a fantastic game and it's great to be able to own both games together on, on in one collection. So, so chuffed to get this. I play this a lot. I actually have uh, Last Blade 2 downloaded on both my Wii and my PlayStation 4. Uh, I love them so much. I even have the Last Blade uh, background theme on my PlayStation 4. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this series. So I was really, really happy to get this. 
Next title I got, and I, I'd never heard of this title. I'm, I'm familiar with the series of games it's based on, but I wasn't aware that they'd made this game into a 2D fighter. Uh, and then I saw the footage and I was blown away by it. And that's uh, Sengoku ba Bajra Cross. Now, this is actually based on a Capcom series that that's uh, basically their, their 3D hack and slash games. Uh, essentially, Capcom's version of, of uh, Dynasty Warriors. Um, but uh, in Japan, they got this one-on-one -on -one 2D fighter that was actually developed by Arc System Works. And it's an amazing game. It is a proper, amazingly beautiful game. I can't believe this game never came out in the West. It's fantastic. I urge people to check out Sengoku Bajra Cross. It's a brilliant title, and it's not even an expensive title. I mean, I got this brand new and sealed for £25, and you can get a used copy anywhere between £10 to £20. So definitely worth checking out, guys. And again, I did not have to import this. This was also bought from a UK seller. So I was really, really chuffed to get this. It's a brilliant game and I do play it a lot. Okay, moving on. This title, I have to say, this was definitely um, my number one game. Well, my number one reason for getting a multi-region uh, PlayStation 2. Um, I've spoken about this before, I think a few times. Um, it's based on one of my favorite series. And of course, when you combine a, a, a license that I love with a genre that I love, that's a recipe right there. And the game I'm talking about is Hokuto no Ken, or as it's known as Fist of the North Star. This is the 2D fighting game that was developed by Arc System Works. And ever since I found out about this game years ago, I've wanted it. This is the main reason why I wanted to get a multi-region PlayStation 2. Uh, as far as I know, it's exclusive to PlayStation 2. I know it's an, it was an arcade game originally, but in terms of home console ports, it's only been ported to PlayStation 2. And it's an amazing game. It's a beautiful game. Um, and every time I watch gameplay of this, uh, like I'm just my mouth is just always on the floor. It's an amazing title, an amazing fighter. Um, it's hard as hell. Some people have accused this game as, of, of being a bit broken, saying that the some of the fighters are a bit uneven. Uh, I have not really put enough time into this game to really determine that. I just know the game is hard as hell, <laughs> irrespective. So. Uh, um, but I'm sure uh, those of you that are more experts in the genre can probably give me a, a definitive answer. But as far as I know, this is just fun for me. Uh, I love Fist and North Star, and combining it with a, a t as a 2D fighter for me is just heaven. It's just exactly what I want. And uh, yeah, I'm so so chuffed to be able to get a copy. In fact, this was actually the first game I ordered <laughs> for the system. So, yeah, really, really happy. I'm over the moon to finally own this. And I urge you guys, if you're going to get into uh, PlayStation 2 imports, uh, definitely, definitely do not pass up Fist of the North Star. It's brilliant. So, guys, you might think that's the end of it. You might think, that's it. Nothing's going to top that for me. Well, you're wrong, guys. There was actually something else, a game that I was after, that is even going to top that. Now, this wasn't my number one game. That was my number one game. But this was definitely extremely high on my radar. And the, re the only reason why this is wasn't my number one was because of its price. It's very rare. It doesn't come up a lot. And in fact, when I when I first looked this up, uh, I, I saw like a brand new copy go for like a thousand pounds, and most of the other copies were selling for like. Uh, 200, 300 pounds, it was very expensive and I'm not going to lie, this was also expensive but it was in fantastic condition and it was bought in Europe it was bought from a seller within Europe, not from Japan so I knew I wasn't going to get bitten on import tax So based, and here's the other thing as well, all the other Japanese sellers were using stock, stock photos which never helps, especially when we're talking high price games 
but this is one I've wanted for a long time and like I say it does not come across it does not show up much and it's very sought after by people and it's actually a compilation and what I picked up is uh, ADK uh, Soul I believe it's called ADK Soul and essentially this is a compilation of five titles from the company ADK that was made for the Neo Geo and the games you've got here you've got uh, uh, Ninja Commando, Ninja Combat, Ninja Masters, uh, Gangan and the other game I believe it's Twinkle Star Sprites I believe it's what it's called I can't quite remember uh, essentially uh, Ninja Ninja Combat is a uh, uh, is a uh, Ninja Combat is a uh, side-scrolling beat 'em up, uh, and Ninja Commando is a top-down shooter similar to like uh, Shock Troopers. I believe I've got those right. I'm not too sure. I might have had. Each, I, I, I get the names confused with those ones. Ninja Masters is a 2D fighter, fantastic game, brilliant game. Uh, Gangan is a 2D fighter, but it kind of plays. Like you basically can scroll up and down the screen, so it kind of moves like a side scrolling beat em up, but it is just like a one on one fighter. Very interesting game, it's actually a lot of fun to play. And Twinkle Star Sprites is basically like a cute em up, uh, it's like a two player cute em up game. Essentially, you're, you're scrolling um, vertically, but it's like split into two screens. And uh, as you scroll up, every enemy, if you destroy like certain enemies they get passed onto your opponents they basically build up onto your opponent's screen and I believe it's a bit of a cult game as well and uh, yes yeah, so I'm really chuffed to get this because I really wanted to play um, excuse me uh, Ninja Commando and Ninja Masters and uh, Gangan was a nice surprise I, I wasn't expecting that game to be as great as it was it's a lot of fun this is a really cool compilation and I can't believe it was never released uh, here in the West because um, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, so I'm very chuffed to get this because it's in, in, it's in fantastic condition. So yeah, really chuffed to be able to, to buy this. It was expensive. I, I paid 170 for this game. So it was not cheap. And um, But compared to the going rate for this game, it was actually on the low end. And you know, the seller used proper photos um, you know, he messaged me, great communication, uh, sent it out very quickly, it was well packaged, you know, it, it was just basically pitch perfect service. So I was, especially for this this game, I was, I was extremely pleased to have it. So the moment I saw it, I just nabbed it. I, I, there, was, there was no chance I was going to stop and think about it because I knew that if I passed on it, I would not be able to get this deal again. Because this game, I remember seeing this game years ago. And it was selling for about eighty pounds, and it's since just risen and risen and risen. And uh, at the time, I thought, well, I'm never going to get a, syst a, a, a Japanese system, so I just kind of forgot about it. But when I when I realised I could get like a multi-region modded PS2, this game went back on my uh, back on my list, and uh, I had to nab it quick because, like I say, this game is not dropping in price. It's just it's just going for silly money now, so very happy to get this one this is actually probably aside from fist of the north star um, my most sought after title and i'm very happy to get it this early on so yeah so that's it guys essentially those are there are of course uh, more games that i'm going to get i do have my eyes on some other fighters uh, but i will be picking those up a bit more slowly waiting for the right deals to come along waiting for games in the right conditions to come along uh, they're a little bit trickier to, to get, I, I will admit. Um, I'm not really happy with, with with a lot of the Japanese sellers as of late. They're, most of them are using a lot of stock photos, and they're being very vague with their descriptions. So I'm, I'm a bit, you know, I'm a bit, bit, bit suspicious of how it's how it's sort of being handled. But in any case, I'm really, really chuffed with what I've got, guys. So uh, again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all these games. Um, I'm definitely got a lot of playing to do. I have been playing a lot of these titles, especially a lot of the fighters. Uh, currently, what I'm playing probably the most is um, the Fatal Fury Battle Archives. I'm playing this 
as well as Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Those are probably the two that I'm playing the most at this moment in time. But yeah, fantastic games. I've really been enjoying my multi-region system. It really, had, for me, it's almost like a brand new system. The PlayStation 2 has just become like a whole new system to me because it's just opened up uh, a whole new library. So yeah, very happy. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And uh, yeah, I will be back next time. Bye-bye.